Free for the month. Offer pre Let's go. I know you enjoyed my little dance from the last Free for the Month. What if it became our little ritual? Come on, let's get back to serious business. Lots of things to say about this amazing pack from Studio Kobo. Here, you have the perfect example of a complete and very well-made environment pack. Yes, everything is there. From the use of a post-process volume for the general stylization effects with an outline and Kuwara filter, to advanced and very comprehensive modules, to light functions specifically set up to manage an animation effect on the clouds, directly via our directional lights. Everything is very well explained, right from the start. Don't forget to activate the runtime virtual texture to benefit from everything in this pack, especially at the foliage level. Indeed, thanks to the virtual texture, your foliage type actors will automatically blend with the color of your landscape. Very, very practical. Despite a not so high number of meshes, the entire ecosystem developed here of assets, especially at the materials level, allow us to iterate endlessly. We even get some really nice particle system with Niagara. Oh, and as usual, don't hesitate to adjust the exposure settings of your post-process volume. If like me, you initially had a scene that was a bit dark. Excellent work, and well done. Once again, Epic gives us the opportunity to own a character pack for free, and that's very much appreciated. Ancient Golem delivers three rigged skeletal meshes to assemble. The set is quite simple, but you'll be able to use this character quite easily in any experience you develop with six basic animations, a blend space for a 2D run animation, as well as an animation blueprint, you can easily use this character in your game because everything is very well configured. Indeed, after importing the third-person template into your project, you can very quickly and simply replace the mannequin in the third-person blueprint, add the other skeletal meshes by parenting them on the corresponding sockets, a little manual adjustment is still necessary here, unfortunately, and assign the corresponding animation blueprint. After defining the correct game mode, you can manipulate your ancient golem. We appreciate the detail brought to the material, especially with this lovely bas-relief. Looking for a gothic environment for your game? Look no further, I've got what you need. Gothic Cathedral offers you a complete environment, entirely nanite, ready to be played. With over 156 unique meshes and some assembly blueprints, everything is there and optimized, of course. You will certainly encounter a compilation error when launching the simulation. The creator mentions it in the level blueprints. You just have to cast the action on the corresponding character here using the BB third person template. Despite this, I encountered a small problem with collision on the fog mesh. Remember to play around with this collision. Oh, if you experience crashes when you're trying to open the main map, make sure you don't have the virtual texture activated in your project. For me, this prevented me from opening the map. Go ahead, as usual, it's worth it. And another free pack from our dear creator, Learta Studio. Watermills is a quality and generous environment pack. The ambience is there and so is the detail. There's nothing to say. However, in terms of optimization, I simply couldn't navigate in the main map. Indeed, as you can see, in terms of FPS, it's not at all there. Despite some settings modified in the project settings, nothing works, the map is not playable. I have an RTX 4090, so I think at this level, I shouldn't have any problem. This might be on my end. If you have the same issue, let me know in the comments. The Cloud Lighting System plugin will help you achieve interesting light effects on volumetric clouds. Quite easy to use, these effects can add a nice touch to your final scene. Coupled with blueprints to randomly manage intensity and color, you can use this tool in several ways. With a very comprehensive and clear documentation, you will have no problem implementing this tool into your project. Go check this out. That's some great content guys, so I'm counting on you to download all that stuff. See you very soon!